joined a sociologist from Baylor University who co-authored the book Paranormal America, When Times Are Tough, More Americans Turn to Psychics for Spiritual Guidance. But con artists are posing as spiritual mediums and preying on those who are emotionally vulnerable. One of the most high-profile cases involves a band of self-described psychics in Florida who, according to the U.S. Department of Justice, allegedly built clients out of $40 million with false claims of curses and evil spirits. Joshua Hunt knows all too well how easily people can be scammed. When he was a struggling actor in New York, he went to a woman who claimed to be psychic for some career advice. And she tells me exactly what I want to hear. Josh, you're meant to be an actor, but, but I see dark spirits affecting your aura, and they're the ones keeping you from achieving what you want to achieve. She even convinced Josh his money was cursed, so he gave her $1,700 in cash so she could spiritually cleanse it. But when he went to pick up the clean cash, she was gone, and so was all of his money. I was like, how could I be so stupid? Alistair Rand is an internationally renowned psychic medium and author of the book, I'm Not Dead, I'm Different. She says a legitimate psychic will never play on a client's fear. The telltale signs of a psychic who's on the grift is someone who tries to elicit information from you rather than providing you direct information. Anyone who plays on people's fears and exploits those fears and makes themselves the only person who can solve your problem, you gotta watch out for people like that. Hollister says another warning sign is when a psychic insists on seeing a client as often as possible. It is unreasonable for a psychic or a medium to see a client each and every day. A scam artist will try to make you dependent on him or her. So what I do personally in my work is I set limitations and I will not see a person more than twice, sometimes three times a year at the most. So if you're inclined to see a psychic, remember, legitimate psychics don't ask questions, they give answers. Avoid psychics who use fear-based tactics like curses, and a reputable psychic will set limitations on how many times a client can visit. Whether you believe in psychics or not, the truth is we're all vulnerable at some point in our lifetime. What we have to keep in mind is that there's always someone out there wanting to take advantage of us in those circumstances. Asha Blake, America Now. What should you do, Asha, if you think that you've been the victim of one of these psychic scams? Well, the first thing you want to do is file a police report that will lead to an investigation. And perhaps more victims will come forward, which will hopefully lead to an end of the scam. Yeah, it is all about people having the courage to admit it and come forward. Thank you so much. Great advice, Asha.